Okay, in the previous video we looked at flow speed patterns through a pipe of fixed diameter. But now let's consider, wow, that's exactly what they say, let us consider flow not through a pipe of fixed diameter, but one of a diameter that gets constricted. Okay, so what does that mean? Like something like this. Okay, so we have a wider diameter pipe and then it narrows, it becomes constricted. Okay, so the first thing that we need to see is that, uh, is we need to see what happens to the streamlines. Okay, the streamlines get closer together, like this. Whenever we see the streamlines getting closer together, um, we will see that this means that the fluid must flow faster in this constricted region. So let's see why. Let's see why. Well, let's look at point one over here. Remember, the fluid is flowing from this region to that region. So let's look at point one and point two. If the flow is laminar, okay, flow is laminar, it's not turbulent, it's not chaotic, okay, then the amount of mass passing over point one in a given time over here at point one must be the same amount of mass passing point two. Okay? So the volume of the fluid passing point one must be uh, over a specific time, delta T, must be the same as the volume of fluid passing point two. Okay? And because it gets constricted, if the volume is the same, uh, then delta X2 this, this length over here must be larger than delta x1, simply because of the, the geometry. Okay, So if this delta x2 is, is long, longer than delta x1, then it means that the, the fluid has sped up. Okay. So in a given time interval, the displacement delta x2 of a fluid of a fluid particle moving through the narrow part is greater than delta x1. This means that the overall fluid flows faster in the narrow part. Okay? So let's let's look at this now. A flowing fluid speeds up when the region through which it flows narrows and it slows down when the region through which it flows widens. Okay? The density of streamlines reflects the changes in flow speed. When the streamlines in a laminar flow get closer together, okay, when they get closer together in laminar flow, the streamlines, the flow speed increases. When the streamlines get farther apart, the flow speed decreases.